Here's a little picture I took the other day walking around um, Kingsbury. Just before you go over the bridge towards the uh, village centre. So we're our path there leading over the little bridge. You've got a river that runs underneath the region. You're just about to see the church in the background. So let's have a look at the materials. Starting with the pallet. I've always got them in the same order. Ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, glycerin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. Then we've got our three brushes, the large one Ransom Hake, number three rigger, three quarter inch flat. They're all Cotman watercolours just squeezed out and allowed to dry. I've got a tissue, for dabbing out clouds, etc. Water jar, and got 15 by 11 Fabriano cold pressed. £130 watercolour paper. So I just want to ask a quick look at the photo and then we'll get cracking. I'm going to start off with a height. This is just clean water, evenly all over the paper. So you get a nice soft sky with no hard edges around the clouds or anywhere. Just dipping the tips in just to bring the hairs back together. And I'm just going straight into just raw sienna. Not uniformly all the way down, leave bits here and there. Clean the brush. And let's go ultramarine. A bit of pine's grey. Same again. Just dipping the tips in just to bring the hairs back together on the brush. Just trying to create an interesting looking sky. I'm aware the church is going to be somewhere about here, so I want it fairly light. I didn't mean to come down that far. So what I might do, actually, um, I could use a tissue. Well, actually, I might use the brush. If I just clean the brush, squeeze all the water out of it into the jar, and then just make sure it's nice and dry, and then. The, uh, the church is going to be somewhere around there, so I can just take out a bit of, bit of cloud there, just to look at all the airs coming off. I'm just going to leave those airs for time, for a little minute. You know what, I think I prefer the tissue method actually. Got less hassle if I can get rid of those airs while I'm doing it. So the church can move out there, so if I make that nice and light, send there's a cloud there. A few little clouds here side as well. I must get some clean tissue. I'm not going to mess about with the sky anymore, I think. What I'm going to do is just pull that tight. And give it a quick, just a very quick dry. to the flat brush, three quarter inch flat. Just damp it, not too much water. And just give it to the same colours I've just used for the sky. Very simply. You can see because it's dry, it's coming off nice and sharp. Now 
That's all I'm going to do for that. Switch back to the height brush. And then we've got some nice bushes and trees in the distance. So I'm doing lemon yellow, pines grey, ultramarine, a bit of raw sienna as well. Side. And then that's coming down. Just to add a little bridge, which is going to be something a bit like that. And then we've got a little posts. Change the uh, colour slightly. So not, it's all very, very green. It's a bit of raw sienna. Just coming down. Just slightly. Just give it a bit of, a bit more green down there. I'm going to clean the brush and just go pure yellow, I think. Pure yellow. So then, let me switch to the other side now. So up here, right at the top. Pine's grey, just a really dark in it. Just take that right up to there. A bit of browning, just for a bit of variation. Coming down to the foreground. I'll stick this uh, bridge in now, it's pretty dark. If we just go for a dark colour, burnt umber, ultramarine. Very simply put in, and then we got a little path. 
something along this. back to this brush. A light red, ultramarine. Just making a sort of shadowy class dark under there. There's a few leaves on these trees. I almost forgot the leaves, so if I just clean this brush, squeeze the uh, squeeze the water out, scuff it up on the tea towel, towel. And just add it into these the green colours, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, bit of little sienna, and then just. Brush needs to be fairly dry when you're doing this, otherwise you'll just block it straight in and you won't be able to see the clouds behind. I don't want to be too mad with this. That'll do. Um, a bit of red down there. There's a nice bit of red here and there, just lines it up a bit. and whatnot in the bushes. A few over this side as well. And a few blue ones. And then up in the sky. Call that one finished. Just put my name down in the corner. So let's see what it looks like with the main sun. So this is our painting with the main sun. So if we uh, let's have a look at the photograph again, so it compares. The composition I've kept it pretty much um, identical, really. Started off with the sky. Just a nice blue sky in the photographs with some clouds to uh, make it more interesting. Which I've done with an ultramarine, raw sienna and um, a bit of Payne's grey and took those uh, few clouds out with the tissues as well. A little glimpse of our church there, a bit hiding behind the trees. Just put in very very simply using the flat brush.
on the bridge we've just got a mass of green foliage, trees and bushes and whatnot. And uh, often I tend to put these fences in with um, scrape them out with the card. This time I tended to, I just painted around it and just left it sort of white highlighted. A big mass of green head on the right hand side. I just tried to put in a bit of light red raw sienna just to vary the colour a little bit and then just put in these big branches as well. Simple path sweeps into the foreground. There's ultramarine paints, the same colour as the sky basically and a bit of Raw sienna in there as well, and then not too many shadow, little shadow there, and a bit round there. Not much shadow going on, too much. I've just put a few more shadows in than what you can actually see, just exaggerated it slightly. Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.